Good morning, Badger Farm Girl here. Headed out second time this year. Going back to the same lake we were last week. Weather is, the wind has definitely gotten better. But um, hoping to get on something. If not, the social part of it's really good. Uh, got the four wheeler all loaded, ready to go. This trailer's working out really nice. There's a part of me wishing I had a little bit longer one, but that's okay. For what I do, it's, it's pretty good. But yeah, everything's ready, loaded, lock secured, ready to go, and uh, everything's bungeed and ready to go. idiot didn't put his windshield or what windows down in order to take off a seatbelt. I don't know, whatever. But we're out here today. We'll hook these two up. Made some changes, so hopefully our setup will be much better this time around. That was the whole intent of last time. Let's figure this out. So we're supposed to be up to almost what 30 today? Something like that? Mid-20s for sure. Shacks. Are we putting up a bathroom today? Yep. Yep, putting up a shack for a bathroom. Too many people out here to watch us go pee, so anyways. So Gary one's headed out that way. That's where we're going. You good? You gonna walk a little bit? bit. Alright, we gotta get our steps in. I'm gonna get her to drive this thing so I can walk a little bit. So she won't do it though. She wants to get her steps. Checking the ice, it's only like three foot eight here. So I got Terry walking around. He's something a little bit deeper. But it's gonna be a gorgeous day. Sun's out, it stays out. This is fish, that'll even be better. some holes before we set up anything. I think we learned that last time. But honestly, I think we're going to have a day room be outside more than inside, but that's fine. But uh, where we were back over there, it was three feet of water. Not the best. So right now we found a ridge on Navionics. It was a drop off, so we should be good to go. So, so the plan is to set up the shack on some snow and then we'll put the floor in. And there's a lot of bare ice out here and you know, perfect for falling down, but I think this might be our spot for today. We got her set up and the new added feature is the toilet room. So we can go pee because we don't want anyone watching us. So we're gonna drill a hole in here and use this too. And we got her set up. So I ended up getting those tiles from Walmart and I ended up having this dried out at home and I popped it up, dried it out and I took the tiles and laid it out at home. And what I found out coming out here now is that you're best just putting the tiles together in the shelter 
individually because I don't think you can perfect that. Your tent's going to be set up the same way every time. So this is what we got going on right now. And with pulling them out individually, we got a nice surface for the Vexlars, for the everything here, that it's not sitting on the snow. So this is a work in progress, but we're getting there. We're almost. The other thing new, we got the big LP tank going on the Flex. So that'll be nice. We don't have to worry about LP fuel and carrying tanks around. So this is what's going on right now. Right now, we don't even have the heater on and it's toasty in here. So we might not need it, but we'll use it for cooking our pizza today. So this is where we're at. So we're out here doing it Sunday. What's the day today? Huh? What's the day today? Today is the 7th or 8th? Yeah, 7th or 8th of 7th. February. Yeah, so. And there's more and more people coming out. And the reason they're coming out because everyone's driving out here today so we did it uh, I think we we learned some things last week and we're gonna learn some stuff this week so uh, we're good to go oh she's got her toilet paper ready to go so do you want the auger to drill a hole in there no okay all right we're not gonna be on the nice anyways after my video last weekend, I did, um, some people asked questions about the Flex. And I had, it's hit or miss with me, the Buddy Heaters. I had the regular one in the past, and I never could count on it, so I ditched it and went with the Flex this year. I am very happy that I did it. I don't know if part of the problem I had is I didn't carry the other one in a case. So, to prevent anything more from happening, they do have these backpacks for the Buddy Flex. And the, the cooker goes in the bottom, and, every, and then the other one slides on top. And what I find that's really nice about it, it's easier to pick up and go. Everything's together, your hoses, LP tanks. There's pockets here for spare tanks and that. And, and I'm hoping that this thing will last longer than my other one did. But um, uh, on the maiden voyage last week, it worked wonderfully. And we're hoping it'll deliver again today. So um, we're pretty much here to go. And I'm hoping we're gonna get outside a little bit and fish. I need some vitamin D and uh, yeah. Uh, the wheeler's doing good. This is a 2018 Yamaha Kodiak 700 with power steering. Uh, basically stock. I didn't do anything to alter it. I got my Nebulous on here. Thanks, Barb Carey. Um, clamp plate with the mod. 5 amp hour battery. Good old DeWalt. And this works like a dream. I got these cheap uh, mirrors on here from Amazon. They're really cheap, but the cool thing, I can just fold them in real quick and it's just nice to have some visibility behind. I had them originally mounted on the handlebars, but I just couldn't see behind me. It was just not good. So this seems to be working as a better position for mirrors. Um, stepping back, got this, this basket off Amazon. When I did, and I got it put on here with pipe clamps. And what I ended up doing is spraying this rack here with plexi, uh, Plasti dip. So there's somewhat of a rubber coating on here from forgiveness for rubbing on certain things. And then I had some extra stall mat um, for horses on here, and I cut it to here that so I don't. I'm, it's not metal on metal, whatever I'm hauling here. And it, you know it comes out. I got another piece down in here. And I got these uh, rod holders, cheapies from Walmart, They're like two bucks a pop. Got them held in here with screws, and then. Yeah, you can move them wherever you want. And got some safety stuff in here. I got a rope and stuff. And then this one I got it mounted angle-wise because my coal cleaner is way too long. So I had to mount it on the side so the bottom of it wouldn't be uh, hitting the ground. So Clamp Pro Hitch. I think Clark here I would recommend this highly. It's wonderful. And then I did spray, like I do everything else, the inside of this tub white or blue. That way I drop things in here, I can see it. Um, and Terry's got hers and got a hitch point back here. And we were able to pull it back up. I'm gonna have a hitch point behind mine. Yeah, she's gonna end up, yet. haven't done it yet, but we're getting there. It's just, it in, it's in the truck. Yeah, I mean, we don't go very fast on the ice. If we did, the thing would be all over the place and <laughs> losing stuff everywhere, so. Anyways, so. Bathroom set up. Bathroom is set up, here we go. We're good to go. So you got to yeah. It's a quick fish, you know, serves its purpose. You know, this is great. It's all one person needs needs. Toilet paper? Yeah, I got toilet, toilet paper. Toilet paper disposal bag. Yeah, we're good to go. So got the one 
Yeah, you can see who's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is the Clam 600 Thermal. So this is our setup, and it's been working so far so well. So, that's interesting. Another attachment point. But... Yeah, and there's two doors on these. There's one on the other end, and then we've got this one here. So. Then you got ventilation holes. And then you got a place to put your fishing licenses. I believe that's what this is for. You can see could be happy. So, hey, look at all these people out here. They're all sitting outside. We're not. Size one, two. Look at my my next large lit up like a Christmas tree. Terry's on. They're getting bigger. This is the third one. I got nothing. Fish. Fish bait. <laughs> and I still got my minnows, so that's even better. Aww. He's pissed. Give me my minnow back. Sure did. <laughs> Look at that hook job. That'll teach him. He's pissed off. He's pissed. <laughs> You're hungry. I hope your mouth got super glued shut. the days when we didn't have a shelter. Whatever that was is gone. Kim's on. Uh, either that or I'm hooked on him. Ooh. It's a fighter! Oh! Oh! The biggest one yet. Yes! Kim got a real fish. Oh, shit. It's not a minnow. Look nice. at that. That's the biggest one yet. Yeah, I can tell you. Give me a hundred bucks to lick it. No, I'm not gonna lick it. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Here she comes. Here she is. Perch, there. Perchy poo. A perchette. It's all right. It's better than last weekend. Yes. She's on. Well, it's a little bit bigger. A little bigger. It's all right. Their cousins are coming through now. <laughs> <laughs> the big brother. Yep. Oh, you remember? Thank God I painted these guys. Because I would have missed it. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. I guess the only good thing about ice fishing, you don't have to bring a cooler. Yep, it's empty. Well, I'd have to say this really went really well. I think it's better. 
It got better than last time. Yes. We had a bathroom. We had LP. You didn't have to mess around with LP tanks. We still got enough for many more times. So this thing fired up. garbage on the ice. Peace!